Hey guys, what's up? So, I'm here to show you my February favorites. Sorry, the lighting's kind of bad in here. But, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. The first thing that I've been using a lot recently is my Got To Be Kinkier Double Curling Power Curling Mousse. Comes in that can. Looks like that. It's really nice. Um, I was using the Garnier Fructis Beach Waves um, hair texturizing spray and I didn't like it because the curls were looking really like they weren't nice it made my ends look all frayed and whatnot but with this I feel like it makes the curls look somewhat better and more defined than the beach texture spray so I switched to this also, what I've been using a lot for my hair is my It's a 10 Miracle Leaving Plus Keratin Treatment. It, um, it works really well as, like, a leave-in conditioning and styling product. I also have, like, Paul Mitchell's Super Skinny Serum and some other products, but I have a naturally oily scalp, so when I use the Super Skinny Serum and stuff, it tends to make my hair oilier quicker and like because of my oily scalp like I can I can't wash it every day or it gets too dry so I have to wash it like every other day and so using the super skinny serum just doesn't work with an oily scalp and only being able to wash your hair every other day um and then the face wash I've been using is my morning burst detoxifying facial cleanser it's oil free I really like this face wash because it's very refreshing, um, it doesn't over dry my skin at all, um, and it does pretty well keeping me clear, if you can see. So, if you haven't tried this, I recommend it. Um, the two mascaras I've been using a lot recently are first my Maybelline Illegal Length Mascara. Why is it upside down? Let's try it that way. Ha! Illegal Length. <laughs> it comes in a silver tube like that, and the brush looks like this. If you, oh, there you go, you can see the brush there. Um, but the, this mascara has like fibers in it to create the look of false lashes. Um, and I've tried also the volume, voluminous, whatever you want to call it, um, false lashes mascara. And I honestly feel like I like this one better than that one because I feel like this one doesn't clump up as easy as the other one does. And I feel like also with the other one, like it would leave, even the waterproof one would like leave like mascara residue under my eye. So I prefer this one over the False Lashes by Voluminous. Um, next, the two concealers I've been using. I was using the Mineral Power Concealer by Maybelline for the longest time, but I got bored of using it, so I wanted to try something different. And I got the Maybelline Super Stay Concealer 24 Hour. It gives maximum coverage and... When you put a face powder on over this, it does last 24 hours. I think it's great. If you like the Maybelline Mineral Power Concealer, you'll definitely like this one. Um, and another one I've been using is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. It looks like this. And the reason I like to use this is this isn't like your normal all-over face concealer like the Superstay is. This is for dark circles and bags under your eyes because I'm going to admit I like to go out and have fun and party and sometimes I wake up the next morning with dark circles under my eyes so I just like to use this to erase those dark circles. It works really well also. Maximum coverage. I used it today. The lighting though makes it look like I have a little bit of dark circles but... That's just because of the lighting. Oh, and I meant to show you this other mascara that I've been using a lot. It's the CoverGirl 24-Hour Lash Blast. 
It's like the normal lash blast, It's except it's like a new extended formula. The brush looks the same as the other ones. But I definitely feel like this one lasts longer than the regular one. And it, I feel like it makes your lashes more bold than the regular one. So if you haven't, if you like the regular CoverGirl Lash Blast, I definitely recommend trying this 24 hour one. The eyeliners that I've been using like every day <laughs> are my liquid eyeliner, which is the L'Oreal Telescopic Waterproof Eyeliner in black. The brush looks like this. It's just a really fine point. If you can... Hold on, let me get it against the white background. There you go. It's a felt tip, and it makes it very easy to draw straight lines. And I had been using the Maybelline um, 24-hour waterproof. It's like ultra-proof liner or whatever. I had been using that for the longest time, but I noticed after a while that throughout the day it would, like, start flaking off, and I didn't want to use it anymore after that, so I switched to the telescopic waterproof, and it doesn't flake like the other one did. And then the blue eyeliner that you've seen in a couple of my recent videos is the Maybelline Master Drama by Eye Studio, and this one's in Sapphire Strength, and I'm going to swatch it for you so you can see it. I don't know if the lighting's going to be good enough for you to see it, but there you go. It's a really shiny, pretty blue, very pigmented. Um, it's the best blue eyeliner I've ever had. So... It does well on the waterline, it just doesn't do so well on the inner corners of your eyes, because, I mean, like, with most eyeliners, it, like, gunks up in little eye boogies, <laughs> so, yeah. And then, the face powder that I use every day is the Bare Minerals All Over Face Color, it's a half and half container. Half is pure radiance, and the other half is tropical radiance. But I like to mix it to mix them together and just use it all over the face. It looks like that. It just gives a really nice, healthy glow with some shimmer to it. And then the blush I've been using, I actually don't have it on today, but I've been using the e.l.f. blush that I got. And this one's Berry Mary. It looks like that. It's a really nice, like, mauve color with a bit of shimmer to it. Not, like, overly shimmery, but just a little shimmer. Because I like the glowing look. Uh, I mean, I prefer that over, like, m matte finishes and stuff. And then I'm going to show you the eyeshadows I've been using all month. This is the Maybelline Eye Studio Quad in Forest Fury. It looks like that. Yeah, you can tell I've been using this a lot. But this, all the, hold on, all these colors are extremely pigmented. So, like, this bottom color, hold on, if I can point to it. The bottom triangle is, you're all over the whole lid, including eyebrow bone. The lime green is the lid color. The green across from that is the crease color, and the darker green right above those two is the outer corner color, and then the very top triangle is a shimmer you put all over the lid. It creates an awesome eye look. They have these palettes in other colors too, like purples and blues and naturals, and I just really like them. And then another color that I've been going back to a lot recently is my Urban Decay Ransom. It's a very pretty purple. And then, last but not least, I've been using the crap out of my Bedhead Makeup for Cool People eyeshadow palette. It looks like that. Hold on. I can get it all on the camera. There we go. You, this, you have all these different colors, and you can create so many different eye looks with this pa palette. Like, this side you can, hold on, this side you can almost do, like, a natural look, and this side you can do, like, a smoky eye. 
or you can mix colors up and create all different looks. This is a very nice palette for people with any eye color, and they're also very pigmented, and I think this palette's like $24. When I got it, though, I had gotten it on clearance at Cosmo Prof for 12 but yeah, I suggest if you're looking for a good palette for any eye color, for any occasion, like, definitely get this one. Because, and, like, the nice thing about it is, like, along with matching any eye color, it also matches any outfit. Because you have some pretty neutral colors that can go with any outfit in it. And that's about it. Um, if you have any questions about any of the products, feel free to ask me. Um, if you want me to review any of the products further, go ahead and feel free to ask. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this. Bye.